Hi, uh, welcome. In uh, today's video, we are going to discuss anechoic wedges. Uh, these are uh, the shapes that you might see in an anechoic chamber. Uh, you might see anechoic wedges or anechoic cones. Uh, today, I am going to explain the principle of how an anechoic wedge works. Okay, so, to understand how anechoic wedges or cones work, we have to approximate the sound to be a ray. Uh, we can approximate the sound to be a ray only when the wavelength of concern or the wavelength of the sound is much 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 smaller than the uh, dimensions of the cones or the wedges so let's see how anechoic wedges uh, don't let any reflections go back uh, into the anechoic chamber so here i've uh, shown you four wedges uh, suppose a, a wave is incident upon uh, uh, one of the wedges, uh, I've approximated the wave to be a ray here. Uh, th th this wave hits the anechoic chamber, some of it gets absorbed and some of it gets reflected. And uh, the same process uh, repeats on and on and on and until the sound dies out to below the background noise level of the anechoic chamber. Uh, so this is the principle on which anechoic uh, wedges work. So I, I hope uh, uh, this video was educational. Uh, please do share comment like and subscribe thank you very much